so we just took the funicular up here and now we are at the Notre Dame de Fouvier. This beautiful church. It's so lovely here and it cost three euros per person for a funicular to come up and obviously to go back down. So that's actually pretty good. The alternative is that you can actually walk, but I think that's a little too many steps for us. <laughs> but it's really nice here and it was actually fun to take the funicular as well. Very easy going and it's so beautiful here. It's just lovely. Look at this gorgeous cathedral. Stunning. So we made it. This is something fun to do because this is different for us. We haven't been up here. And then you can actually even see their little tower there. Mm -hmm. their, I think it's a radio tower or something. This is supposed to look like the top tier of the Eiffel, the Eiffel tower. tower. Pretty much identical and it even lights up at night, which is cute. Mm -hmm. So I believe we're going to be going inside. Let's check it out. just telling Nikita that this was stunning this Notre Dame Basilique is absolutely beautiful or should I say this cathedral it was stunning and I also told him that it's kind of hard to impress me because I've seen so many beautiful churches all over the world so I mean a beautiful church is a beautiful church but wow this was really truly one of the nicest churches that I've ever seen I think honestly So because we took the funicular, we're obviously way up high with this gorgeous, gorgeous cathedral behind us. And look at this view in front of me. I will show you right now. It's stunning. Roman amphitheater just a five minute walk from the church you can take the funicular I believe up right up here directly or you can take it to the church we took it to the cathedral and now we're walking to the amphitheater and it's gorgeous we can already see it it looks super cool because the Romans had an influence on Lyon yep. and I believe they're the reason why hundreds of years ago they brought geese right Yes. And that's why they have foie gras. Foie gras, yeah. <laughs> so it's thanks there. to the Romans actually that there's foie gras, which is super cool. So we're going up to have a really nice view and it just looks incredible. So you are seeing a little piece of Rome on this trip after all. <laughs> well, Lyon was actually a, interestingly, a very big prominent city in the Roman Empire. Ooh. Um, I can't remember exact details, but I think a few emperors, Roman emperors came from Lyon. Lyon. Yes, yes. There, there was one name. Oh, I can't remember with a C, I think. But yeah, super cool. So I'll show you around. where the people would come to sit and watch the spectacle of whatever was happening at this amphitheater. I'm not sure of the exact history yet, but I'm going to research it when I get home because it's very fascinating, super cool. The Romans usually touched a lot of over Europe and had such an influence. So it's really lovely to see and just to imagine the history that took place, the events that took place. It's just really incredible. So let's continue our exploration. my 
beautiful tour guide, I like to jokingly call Nikita. <laughs> yeah. Because he has been taking us everywhere. The only thing I did today was take us here to the funicular. That's my first thing ever. Nikita has been such an amazing partner to travel with. Being our first trip, you never know, but you've been wonderful. Thank you. Love you. I love you. The weather is actually fitting because it feels like a little vibe in here that's just so timeless and classic. But we're very excited to be here. And then after this stop, we are going to head to... What's it called? The Hall of Lyon of Paul Bocuse. Yes, the Paul Bocuse Food Hall, I believe. Yes. He is the most famous French chef, one of them, and he hails from Lyon and he's just such a cool individual. We were watching last night the Bourdain episode of Lyon and he had to, the opportunity to dine with Bocuse. So it was really, really cool to see. He has such an influence here. So we're going to the food hall, we're going to eat. We still didn't eat yet today because we kind of woke up a little bit late. Last night we had some crazy neighbors partying above us. We could Until not see. It was one of the worst experiences we've ever had. We love our Airbnb. It's so comfortable, so beautiful, such a nice area. But oh my gosh, I thought the walls were going to come down with the partying until basically four in the morning. So we're exhausted. We probably look tired today, but we have our last full day here in Lyon and we really want to make the most of it because it's so beautiful here and we've just had such a good time. And we're leaving tomorrow. We're going tomorrow back morning. to Toronto, which is bittersweet. Happy that we're able to go back and celebrate Christmas and all these events with our family. But of course, sad that our epic French vacation has come to an end. It's the last day of it. The last day. It's been so memorable. I freaking got proposed to in Paris. It's just been incredible. So we're sad to leave, but happy to join our loved ones and celebrate our love together. And Christmas. Christmas too. Yes. So let's go. <laughs> Crossing yet another bridge. Crossing another bridge. So we are sort of two bridges over. <laughs> yes. And we're in the old town. Yep. Now we're heading to the food hall, which is two bridges over and very cool to cross yet another bridge. We made it here. We walked our little butts off to make it here before closing, which closes at 2.30, so we have about an hour. Let's go. at this food hall, the Paul Bocuse food hall, at this place called Chez Leon in Lyon, and now I'm having a dessert, which is going to be my favorite part, even though the oysters were phenomenal here, probably the best oysters I've ever had, but this is Ile Flotaine or something. It's like the floating island dessert. It's with a um, meringue in like this creme anglaise, so it should be really delicious. It was very, very cool, very interesting experience. It closed pretty much at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Right now it's about 3 o'clock. And so we ate there. We had oysters, which were phenomenal. We also had prawns, which were not my favorite because <laughs> they were just too difficult to eat. And then we had the floating island dessert, il flottant or something, whatever it's called. It was so delicious. I finally got to try that here as well, which I'm excited about. So this is a really cool place. There's little shops. I got my dad a little candy from the shop because his one request when I go traveling anyways to get him some candies or some chocolates or things like that. So yeah, it was really cool to see. Now it's all closed. It was kind of a disaster in there. We just got a table wherever we really could and it was actually a very nice restaurant and a very delicious experience. So it's definitely something to do here in Lyon because Paul Bocuse is like the godfather of culinary cuisine, you can say. So this was a very fun experience, very nice. There's restaurants, there's a few shops in there. It's just a really cool food hall featuring some of the best restaurants and things like that. So it was a very nice thing to try, delicious. right in this beautiful shopping district and I did some shopping for everybody else but me pretty much <laughs> we were all the way up there today can you see wow
François Pralus. He's a matière chocolatier. Matre chocolatier. I don't know, I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> but doesn't this look delicious? We got some macarons to try. They look really good. We also got his brioche, his praline brioche to try. We sampled some in the store. It was incredible. Everyone's walking around with these bags with this colorful design on here. So we knew we had to try. Famous French chef. So let's do this. And this is technically my breakfast after my lunch. <laughs> let's try this. Mmm. that Anthony Bourdain ate at. We came here super early when they were opening and we were the first ones in, so we managed to get a table. <laughs> just ate at that bouchon as you saw the bouchon comptoir abel we didn't have reservations everything was full right now so we just basically walked in right at 7 30 and we said can we please eat here we really want to eat here and they let us they gave us a table this was on our bucket list because anthony bourdain ate here you can see him in the leon episode of his travel show if you'd like to take a look at it this bouchon was delicious it was very classic we felt like this was the more classic bouchon where we ate at a very trendy one the first night and then a very like homey one the second time so we love our bouchons we love that fish dish it was incredible just everything has been so good so delicious and our trip has come to an end my memory card is literally full which is why i'm talking a mile a minute and our beautiful french vacation is finished nikita and i's first vacation together all was well it was safe hopefully we get home safe tomorrow and everything is fine but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it from paris to strasbourg and Lyon. thank you so much for following along on our epic french adventure we had the trip of a lifetime i love you i love you sweetie thank you for watching bye bye
fois la viande. 